Hey, welcome to the course. Glad you could join us. My name is Ryan, and I'm a developer based in Ottawa, Ontario. I've built this course alongside my three colleagues with hopes of teaching anybody, no matter the experience, to harness the power behind deep learning and computer vision to build a fully functional self-driving car. This might seem like a daunting task, but this course was designed to make it open to as many different skill levels as possible. Whether you're a complete programming novice, or even if you're an advanced researcher that's interested in deep learning algorithms. But first, what we're going to do is familiarize ourselves with OpenCV, an open source computer vision library, as we'll be making use of it all throughout this course. And what better way to do that than by identifying lane lines for a self-driving car? Right after that, we move on to introducing neural networks by discussing the perceptron, the most basic form of a neural network, meanwhile implementing it into code to train this perceptron to learn how to classify between two distinct classes. Subsequently, we introduce Keras, a powerful neural network library written in Python. And after discussing perceptrons and re-implementing it with Keras, we move on to discussing much deeper neural networks, which we will use to classify between much more complex data sets. Then we introduce and work with convolutional neural networks, one of the most popular and successful algorithms for deep learning. We will be using convolutional neural networks to identify between various traffic signs. And most notably, we then cover behavioral cloning, where we put our deep learning skills to the test and simulate a fully functional self-driving car. All of that being said, after finishing up the required installations needed for this course, there are two starting points. I did mention that this course was for all skill levels. And that is because where you start in this course is determined by your experience with the Python programming language. Primarily, since all of the code will be written in Python, if you're not familiar with the language, then you can start with the NumPy and Python crash courses. Although, if you do have prior knowledge with Python and NumPy, then after finishing up the installations, then you can just skip the crash courses and simply begin with the course content. Alright, I'll see you in there.